Good morning and welcome to another short devotional for Black Rock Baptist Church and also Morristown Baptist Church. I want to share with you this morning from Romans chapter 12 verse 19 and share with you a short devotional entitled God of Love and Justice. You know, life is not fair. I don't need to tell you that. God never said that it would be fair. Life is unfair because there is sin in this world. Jesus came to make things right, and one day that will be so. But right now, sometimes bad people prosper. Sometimes good people suffer. Sometimes the innocent get hurt. If you have been discriminated against because of race or culture or language or gen gender, if you're being abused, if you have been harassed or mistreated, that breaks my heart, and I'm sorry for your hurt. You should do whatever you can to correct injustice. There's something even more important than the way I feel about injustice. It's the way God feels about injustice. God has seen every hurt of your life, and he grieves over the injustice. When someone asks me, where is God when evil, thing ha evil things happen? I say, well, he's at the same place that he was when they crucified his son, grieving over man's inhumanity. So why didn't he stop it? God could stop all the evil in the world just like that. But it would mean taking away our freedom of choice. God may not stop a hurt from happening, but God is keeping a record. Not only that, but the Bible says he's storing up your tears in a bottle. Psalm 56 verse 8. The Bible also says, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Because God is loving, he is also a God of justice. To allow evil to hurt his, his children and to seek justice would be, or, and to not seek justice would be an unloving God. Since God seeks, seeks justice, you don't have to spend all your life holding on to the hurts. In fact, God doesn't want you to waste one second of your life on resentment or retaliation or revenge. That's going to fill you with the poison of bitterness. Don't waste your life on bitterness. Some people are allowing people who hurt them 10 years ago to still hurt them today because they're holding on to the bitterness of that hurt. That's foolish. They can only continue causing more hurt for you when you choose to remain bitter. You have to let go. Justice delayed is not justice denied. God is very aware of what people have done. And there will be a day of reckoning. Do you trust him? If you do, let it go. Let it go. Surrender your hurt to Jesus and let him settle the score. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And until we meet again, let's continue to exchange prayers daily.